Unemployment in Singapore improved for the fourth straight month in February, coming in at 3%. And Prime Minister Josephine Teo says the country's progress will depend on how employers and employees are willing to embrace training and reskilling. Chloe Chu with more. Since COVID-19 hit, such outreach efforts have been a prominent sight, with job fairs popping up all over the island. And it's proven effective so far, together with government grants like the Jobs Growth Incentive, a wage subsidy scheme that encourages firms to hire more locals. The Manpower Ministry has recently given payouts to some 27,000 employers who hired 130,000 locals in the first three months the scheme was launched. Citizen unemployment rate dropped to 4.3%, while resident unemployment, which refers to locals and permanent residents, also eased to 4.1%. Singapore has been progressing significantly since the high unemployment rates in September last year. But Manpower Minister Josephine Teo cautions that with every improvement made, the next target will be harder to achieve. She says it all depends on employers' willingness to look beyond candidates with suitable profiles. Job seekers too must invest time to reskill. Economists note the improved results, adding that they are in line with other indicators in the economy, like better retail sales figures. But there are still some challenges. There are uh, some labour-intensive roles uh, that may be harder to fill with local workers, uh, such as food servers or construction workers, as well as cleaners. And foreign workers may be slow to return, given that border restrictions still remain tight. Another factor is that uh, certain sectors may not need to bring their employment back to pre-pandemic levels because uh, of the shift to digitalization. Experts add that overall employment is unlikely to return to 2019 levels, as unemployed workers will need some time to reskill and switch industries before they can return to the labour market.